This is the kind of news I never thought I would report on, but it just seems appropriate given that Little Mama is coming out with her first ever lip gloss line called It's Poppin'. It's a four-piece collection, including Strike a Pose, College Girl, The Voice, and Truly in Love. An article from BET.com has this information there, and I'll post it in the comment section below. But a lot of people are saying the same thing. You know, this should have come out a long time ago because Lip Gloss, the single, dropped in 2007 with the album coming out in 2008. Now, if the Lip Gloss line came out back then, goodness gracious, that would have made a lot of money. But this is her partnership with Vanity Set Cosmetics. Now, I bet if she came out with the lip gloss line way back in 2007, 2008, it would probably be a situation where since she had management and whatnot, she wouldn't have made a lot of money from it compared to what she'll make now that she's probably the, you know, the face and the brand of the lip gloss song. Now, I don't know if she owns the masters to it, but you know how it is, especially for the younger artists when they are working with a record label and whatnot, when it comes to things like merchandising and everything, uh, agents and lawyers and the record company and all that stuff, they take their cut of the pie. So it is sad though, that typically when some of these artists get their masters and whatnot, that's not until later in their career. So um, I'm pretty sure Little Mama's going to make a little bit of change from this, a, a pretty nice piece of uh, change, but nowhere near, nowhere near the um, amount of money she would have made back in the late 2000s, but I don't know, maybe this will start a craze where uh, TikTokers will put lip gloss on the map again, it'll be a hit, but I do know that um, that one record label or that entertainment company, they've had a falling out with TikTok. And a lot of songs from artists like Taylor Swift and whatnot, they're not allowed on the platform. I don't know if lip gloss falls into that category, but we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, just anyone in the business, whether it be music, content creation and whatnot, if you can come out with some merchandising to go along with your brand, whether it be a song um, or, you know, the name of your podcast or something, make that stuff immediately while it's hot. So we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. But like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.